ScreenFlow 3.0 includes a whole new set of features in the video timeline. For example, now you can group multiple clips together. Let's take a look at how to do that. So we have a video clip and a text clip that we want to keep together. First, we select both clips. Then click the gear menu, or we can use the keyboard shortcut, Command G, to group the two clips together. Now when I want to move my clips, I can select just one, and the grouped clips will stay together as I move them. The next new feature is the ability to insert and remove gaps in the timeline. Let's say I'm editing a complex screencast with lots of tracks, and I want to insert a new clip somewhere in the middle. Position the scrubber where you want your gap to appear, grab the handle at the bottom of the scrubber, and move it to the right. This will automatically split any clips touching the scrubber, and add a gap to all your tracks, keeping all your tracks and clips aligned with each other. Then we can add our new clip to the space in the timeline. Now if I want to close up some extra space after adding my new clip, I can drag the scrubber handle to the left to close up all the space on my tracks. I can also right click on any space in the timeline and close just that individual gap by selecting the close gap from the gear menu, removing the gap on just that one track. Finally, ScreenFlow 3 adds some new exciting ways to manage your tracks. With the new track controls to the left of each track, we can easily reposition our tracks by clicking on the track control and dragging it up or down. If we want to delete it, simply drag it up and off the timeline. We can also increase the height of our track for better visibility, or reduce its height to make it easier to use multiple tracks. Additionally, you can set a default track size height. Under Preferences, in the Timeline area, choose Small, Regular, or Large. Grouping clips, inserting and removing gaps, and enhanced track management. More great features of ScreenFlow 3.0.